Okay, so I wanted to come over here and talk about um, the beautiful feet that we went to, beautiful feet ministries that we went to um, in Texas a few months ago. And um, it's an organization that helps those who are homeless get back on their feet and also they have like worship and stuff. Sunday they bring them to the chapel and then every other day, I mean every day after that of the week, they um, have breakfast for them in like the gym area and also do worship. They do breakfast and they do worship and then they give them a card for them to go get um, lunch after that. And so we helped with breakfast and lunch and we also did worship too. And I have this little bracelet that um, we had to wear all week and I wrote the names of people that I asked for prayer requests from on there and then the person who was praying for me all week that was there. Um, and who I prayed for her too whenever we were there. And so I wanted to read you where their um, beautiful feet, why their name is Beautiful Feet, if I can get it real quick. It's Romans 10, um, 13 through 15. It says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. And so this basically means how beautiful are the missionaries who go and tell the people that have never heard because if they have never heard then how are they supposed to tell other people and so since we have heard and we have been preached to we can go and tell and preach to other people that have never heard and so it's really cool to see because whenever you see those people that were at the homeless shelter whenever we would go to pick them up there was a lot of people there you would see things you didn't really want to see or things that you um, it definitely opens your eyes because you've never seen that experience here in Arkansas, I guess you could say. And um, it was definitely an experience because there was um, one person in particular that I asked when we were on the bus riding back with all of them. I was like, are you ready for um, the worship today and the sermon? She was like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> I'm like, about that. And she said... Um, her friends gave her the nickname Songbird because she loves to sing. I was like, are you kidding? Me too. And we were also doing worship that day, so it was so cool to see her light up whenever we were singing on stage. And so, um, yeah, it was really cool. We also went to other places down in Texas to get new experiences, but other than that, I have some things I'll share and then 